We head to Bournemouth and their young Dutch defender Nathan Ake, one of the many Chelsea loanies sent out around the world. Ake spent last season at Watford and this summer headed for the south coast in search of more first team experience. When I got here, of course, you want to play every game. The first game, uh, second game, every game you want to play. But um, it hasn't happened. This is a bit frustrating, but when the opportunity comes, you have to be there. You have to uh, be ready. And uh, when the opportunity came, I was ready, I think. Okay, scores it. You've had to be patient to get your first start in the Premier League season. But you must have reasonable hopes that you, you, you've got a chance of keeping your place after that. Yeah, no, I was just really happy. Um, yeah, just to, to, to have your chance and to go there and uh, play Stoke away and uh, start your first game of the season and then you score as well. I think, uh, no, I was just really excited. Hopefully, of course, I, 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 I'm going to stay in. But, uh, yeah, there's no signs yet. I just have to train hard uh, and, and hopefully uh, yeah, be ready if the, if the chance comes again. This is your third loan from Chelsea. Uh, what do you think of the loan system? Because, let's be fair, you've used it well. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Um, I think it's a good experience to go on loan. And if you got got um, yeah, good clubs like this, um, I think you can, yeah, it will help you. Uh, you're still young, and if you get games in the Premier League, I think it's really good. So uh, you learn a lot, and uh, you just take everything on board. Have you had much contact with Antonio Conte? Um, no. And what, what's the relationship like with your parent club? Uh, not with the manager, no, but uh, there's like a, a loan department there with uh, people like Paulo Ferreira and uh, Eddie Newton, and you keep in contact with them. Yeah, they help you, they try to see the games and uh, just say what they think on the game. They always try to help you, try to improve and yeah, let them, let them make you ready. Yeah. So you're not talking too much to the Chelsea manager. I presume you're talking quite a lot to Eddie Howe, your manager at Bournemouth. Yeah, of course, of course. No, he, uh, he wants me to do well, so in training, he's tried to help me. We do sometimes things after training. He is a really good manager. Um, he wants to do everything 100%. Intensity is always really high in training sessions. Uh, he makes the most of it every time, every training session. He doesn't waste one. And um, I think we take that intensity into the game. Arsenal at the weekend, Arsene Wenger in one technical area, Eddie Howe in the other. A lot of people suggest that Eddie Howe might fit the... Arsenal technical area very well in the future. Do you see him as, as an Arsenal manager one day? <laughs> yeah, I think he's a really good manager, so uh, why not? Yeah, he plays uh, really good football. Yeah, expressive. He wants to play attacking, attractive football. And I think uh, Arsenal does that as well. So you never know. You made your debut at Chelsea at 17, I think, and you haven't yet managed to lock yourself into the Chelsea system and squad. Has that been a frustration to you? We decided with Chelsea uh, yeah, to go one more season on loan, to learn even more, to be a, different, a bit different than last season and try to express yourself and I think um, yeah, during that last, last week I uh, finally played my first game and yeah, just need to keep growing from now on and hopefully uh, yeah, we'll get back in the future. So Matt, Nathan Ake, 24 appearances for Watford last season in the Premier League, just the one start for Bournemouth, is that development when you look at a loan system? In the short term, for him, no. You have to say it isn't, because if he's not getting into Bournemouth's team on a regular occurrence, mm. is he going to capture the attention of Conte at Chelsea? You know, Who he's never met, parent club. never spoken to. Yeah, and I mean, that might surprise a lot of people, but not myself. I mean, Conte's got 25 plus players to deal with in his first team situation, never mind 38 loanees. It's, it's strange, I mean, it's almost like a separate entity, separate enterprise, isn't it? The loan system or the loan department, as Nathan Ake mentioned <laughs> there. It, it's a weird scenario. And gone are the days where, you know, you at Leicester, you went out on loan and you'd have an opportunity perhaps even that season. These guys like Nathaniel Chalabar, you know, he's been on loan for four or five years and gets a couple of appearances here and there. Yeah, very few and far between, aren't they? Um, success stories at the likes of Chelsea and even Man City, but it seemed as if you know, they spread the net far enough that one day they'll, they'll catch a salmon, basically. <laughs> it's, it's almost that sort of philosophy, isn't yeah. it? And, uh, 38 out on loan. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's a separate industry. And are the players developing? Debatable. But one thing they will do, they'll get an opportunity to play mm. football um, in one country or one level or another if they're low knees of Chelsea. I've got to talk about Leicester with you in the studio. One more games in the Champions League than they have in the Premier League. Madness. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Picked up more points as well. 
conceded only one goal in the opening five fixtures. The only English team to, to win their group, you know, who would have thought that? Favourable um, in terms of the teams that were in their group, I think without a doubt. And they've got an extra sort of spring in their step where the Champions League is concerned. It's a, you know, a That's new... a priority. I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think slowly Ranieri has admitted that. Mm. There's a spring in their step. It's a new challenge for them. But they really have to get their mind focused on the, on the Premier League pretty sharpest before they find themselves in deep trouble. So following on from last season, what they're going to do is they're going to win the Champions League and go down to the Championship. Yeah, probably not <laughs> quite that extreme. Uh, I think they'll settle for quarterfinals and finish 13th. Or, yeah. you know, that wouldn't be a bad season on the back of last year.